What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, you guys will be learning two super awesome tutorials with the four aces. These are not going to be taught by me though. These are going to be taught by uh, Noah, whose name will pop up here. And if you have not subscribed to Noah, you should go do that right now. He's super awesome at cardistry, magic, amazing. His link will be in the description and in the comments. Go subscribe to him right now. You're going to be learning two awesome card tricks. One's more beginner, one's more advanced. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so like Caleb said in the intro, this will be involving the four aces. Yeah, the four aces right there. And uh, let's get into the beginner trick. Okay, so just a quick background on this four ace trick. It's actually known as Biddle, and there are a lot of different Biddle tricks, but this is my version that I like performing. So we have the four aces, and you'd say just name one of the aces. Let's say they named the ace of spades. You'd say, great, watch the aces. I'm actually going to have you hold on to the aces in a second, but we have the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, along with the ace of spades, and finally the ace of diamonds right there. Uh, I'm actually going to put the cards in my pocket and uh, if you can do me a favor, can you hold on to these aces for me? The four aces right there. Squeeze very tightly. Now this will be their hands. And you say, I want you to remember the ace of spades in your mind. And I want you to, with your mind, pull the ace of spades out and throw it into my pocket. You ready? And you just do it by that. Look, the ace of spades is now completely gone. And it's actually now inside my pocket. All right. Y'all want to learn that? Let's get into it. We have the four aces right here. Perfect. And uh, you would just say name one. So let's say they name the ace of hearts. You're already in position. Just think about that right now. The ace of hearts is in the third position. You want that card. You want the third because it's the easiest card to do. Now, if they say the ace of clubs, you can do that. You can do that. That's cool. That's fine. If they say the ace of spades, you're going to want to do something. If they say the ace of spades, let me show you what I mean. You're going to want to cut the cards like this one card, just, just so you, you want the ace of spades, and then just put it to the bottom, which, is, which makes it the third position. So you want the card in the third or second position from the top. So let me show you what I mean by that. When you're doing this, this is why it's called Biddle. You're going to take the cards like this. You're going to pull one off and pull the second one off, and you're going to go under the deck like this. And that's just going to be a natural position when the cards come down. Then you're going to pull the ace of spades off like this, and you're going to have a pinky break. And what that is is you're actually just going to pull the card off like this and put your pinky under the card. Now when you're coming under again, you're actually going to pull the ace of diamonds off, but keep the ace of spades on the bottom right there. Uh, and that's going to have three cards in your hands. Let me show you that again. So let's pretend the ace of hearts was our card. Third position ace of spades ace of diamonds ace of hearts and you're going to come under again ace of clubs and do that as fast as possible and hand them the four aces these are the four aces now it's not the four aces one of the aces is on the bottom of the deck but they don't know that do that as fast as possible and put the cards in your pocket now once you put it in their hand now it's basically about acting and you're like look one of the aces has completely disappeared and actually it is your ace the ace of clubs and just pull it off the deck now on to the advanced stuff guys now this trick is not for the faint of heart so you're going to want to learn how to do this right now this trick actually uses the four kings and the four aces so watch very carefully i have nothing inside my pockets i promise so we're gonna do this uh and this is actually a pretty hard trick so I have the four aces right here. I'm going to turn them face up. And you can see none of these cards are marked on the backs or the fronts besides besides the uh, the spades, or, you know, like the logos or whatever. Um, but I'll take the four aces right here and I'll actually uh, place them, the ace of clubs, I'm going to place them down inside my pocket like this. And I will take the, uh, the kings right here. The kings, great. Uh, and I'm actually going to take one of the kings. Let's go with the king of hearts. Watch. All I got to do is switch one card each and I actually get the four aces to come to my hands and the kings are now inside my pocket. Y'all want to learn how to do that? Let's go to it right now. Yeah, so the wind was actually for effect. I'm, I'm kidding. There's, there's actual wind. It's outside. Um, yeah, so all you need is four kings, four aces, no duplicates, nothing. Yeah, so four aces, four kings. You're actually gonna turn over one of the packs like this and you're gonna say, hey, I have the cards. There's no markings on the front or back. And obviously that's a joke. You're like, 
I mean, obviously there's the card markings, but as you're doing that, you're just gonna get a pinky break, which I've taught so many times under three cards, three aces. Now, when you're making that joke, you're gonna come over and you're gonna say, well, obviously, not, yeah, not. You're just gonna lift up with your pinky you're gonna come down and like come at this angle to where they see these cards, but they don't see these cards. And you're gonna flip over the cards. And now if you pull four cards out, you're gonna have three aces and one king. So that's what allows me to count all four cards and show, hey, I have a king right here. I'll put the kings in my pocket and I actually have the aces right here. All I gotta do is take one ace away put one ace in my pocket and put a king right there and the magic is already done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe. If you enjoyed Noah, make sure you guys go subscribe to him. Link in the description and in the comments. They're in both, so that way you can do it. It's super easy. Go subscribe to him. I hope to see you in a later video. If you guys wanna watch one of my other videos, you can click right here. If you guys wanna subscribe, you can click right here. And I hope to see you guys around. And um, yeah, goodbye. I said goodbye, so you should be leaving or clicking on one of these. Thank you.